Good afternoon guys, it's John Sabell here um, for Thelmere Deacon, Senior Portfolio Manager and we're in the Mayfair office today um, and I'm joined by none other than Francis Rivera. Hi guys. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at one of our exclusive opportunities for investors, um, One BHM, which is a Prosperity Wealth Development in Birmingham's Jewellery Quarter. Yeah. So um, the offer here, uh, the exclusive offer that we're putting to market is uh, based around three fives. Francis, what are those three fives? Well, you're basically getting a 5% net yield, assured for a period of five years, hands off. Yep. Uh, in the city, that's performing at 5% capital appreciation, year in and year out. Not too shabby. Yeah. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, run the numbers based on a seven-year forecast, um, two years off plan, five years tenanted, um, and we're going to look at the most modestly priced uh, one-bedroom apartment, apartment 32. Yeah. So, Francis, without further ado, what is the cost of... Apartment 32. Entry level, 227,245 pounds. 227,245. Fantastic. Okay. Now, in order to reserve um, this year um, and take it off the market, lock in that particular deal and 2019's price, 5% yeah. down is what's required along with your reservation form. So what does that equate to? 11,362 pounds. 11,362. Fantastic. Okay. Now, the developer actually allow you to break up the 30% deposit to exchange um, into sort of bite-sized pieces, so interest-free monthly payments to settle it. But let's just sum it as one for sake of uh, this exercise. How much is 30% for us? 68,173 pounds. 68,173, okay. Um, uh, well, less okay is obviously the government wants their pound of flesh um, for any purchase of property in the UK. So what is the stamp duty for um, a property that costs 227245 for an investor? You're looking at £8,860. £8,860. Okay, fantastic. And in order to kind of action the deal, if you will, um, you know, tenants quite like sort of furnished properties. Um, so there's a furniture pack available with this. And how much does that cost? £2,500. £2,500. Okay, fantastic. So if we pull these figures, yeah. that'll give you a total cash in. So what are we looking at? £92,246. £92,246, okay, and that is your cash in, all right? Correct. So we mentioned the deal um, revolves around you receiving five years of 5% um, net yield um, from rentals. So what does that? What, what's our um, investor getting back um, every year? £11,362. Eleven, which is exactly three, six, the same as a deposit. Yeah, same as a deposit. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, obviously, you can see here thirty plus five, thirty-five percent that you've put in, yeah. and that means you'll have a sixty-five percent loan to value (LTV). Okay. Now, we've assumed a two percent interest rate on the repayment mortgage. Sorry, on an interest-only mortgage. Yeah. Um, a lot of our investors are getting less, sort of what? Well, they're getting about 1.6, 1.8. Yeah, but yeah. let's... let's so more or less, let's be yeah, reasonable and say, yeah, you average yeah. 2%. Under, under promise and over deliver and all that jazz. Yeah. So, um, right, if you, if you take a 65% of 227,245 at a 2% interest rate, what are we looking at? We're looking at about £2,954. 2,954. Yeah. Sorry about handwriting. It's going to deteriorate further as it goes down the left here, or the right, rather. Um, okay, so if we take the mortgage that you're servicing from your um, rental, yeah. that'll give you a total annual income. And what does that equate to? £8,408. £8,408. Okay, now we calculate the ROI um, as a percentage of your cash in um, versus the return. So what is the ROI per annum based on £8,400 uh, back with having put in 92 k Amazingly, you wouldn't believe it. That gives you nine percent net yield. Yeah. Compared to what the banks are doing at the moment. Nine percent ROI. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, my apologies. Yeah, nine percent ROI compared to what the banks are doing at the moment, or any other investment there. You invest ninety-two thousand pounds, and you're taking on eight thousand four hundred eight nine percent net yield. Not too shabby, right? Yeah. So we promised you a seven-year forecast, and again, yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a quick look at the two years off plan plus yeah. the five years from a capital appreciation view. Correct. So if the market continues to mature at the sort of five percent that we're looking at, yeah. what will the property value be uh, of you know two two seven two four five now? Yeah. What will it be in seven years' time? We'll be looking at two hundred ninety-nine thousand thirty-eight pounds. Two nine nine zero 
I'm going to call that 299k, my friend. Yeah. Uh, so the total capital appreciation, again, in rough numbers here, if you look at it, sort of um, 299 less 227. Yeah. You've got the best part of sort of 72k's worth of capital appreciation there, yeah? That's correct. Okay. Also, we're running out of space, so it's probably, yeah. probably wise. Um, so, um, total five-year return, we're looking at the rents you're receiving. Yeah. So if we multiply um, 8408 by five years, yeah. what's the rent they've received during that time? Uh, 42,040 pounds. 40, 42k. Let's call it 42k again. Yeah. Okay. So if my math serves me right, um, that's 100. And, um, what were we? 114,000 pounds uplift Correct. in terms of what you've done. Yeah. So if we look at that versus the cash you put in originally and annualize the ROI, yeah. What are we looking at? Well above the 16 percent. So uh, yeah, because you're achieving over 100 percent. Yeah. In and terms um, of cash back. Yeah. Yeah. So you're achieving. Uh, over 16% return. Not too bad at all. Exactly. So that's, this is what's got us excited about this particular investment. Um, if you're keen, give us a call. We look forward to hearing from you.